Stop putting yourself in the equation when wow. it comes to the future because you won't be here. Mm. Really, when we talk about future, let's say 50 years from now, yeah, 60 years from now, yeah. 100 years from now, that's the vision when things start to actually change over. Wow. You will not be here, so stop thinking that our point of view matters mm. when the only thing that matters is how can we help our future generation mm. be able to build wealth in that forward thinking. <laughs>
I'm going to give them all of my information, mm -hmm. and this computer is going to tell me exactly what to invest in, it's going to tell me exactly mm -hmm. where to put my money, and it's going to do it faster, and it's going to do it way cheaper than, than you would do it. That already exists even before we started talking about AI and this. Robo-advisors already exist. Google already exists. And still, they don't tra trade the service from it. Now, could yeah. somebody come out and be, I am your virtual financial advisor. Boom, this is advice. It's probably happening. If it hasn't happened already, it's going to yeah. happen. But I would say just like, just like um, if that, it's going to be a long, 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 long time before anybody should completely trust that. Yeah. Because when it comes to financial planning, because you can't predict things, right? right? It's just like Tesla, right? Tesla has, Tesla can drive for you. Mm -hmm. It can drive for you. Like, you can get in a Tesla with the right one and then say, I just drive me. Mm -hmm. You know how many people died from that? Facts, yep. yep. You know how many people trusted that completely? And I will never completely trust that completely. Like, the AI, uh, the AI could be Bernie Madoff. Exactly. And steal all that, your money. <laughs> yeah, the AI, AI is like, Invest your money here right, right. on this day. Right. But the person behind the AI making sure they go out and buy that stock mm. that day before. So, uh, I mean, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You and got, then, and then, and then the truth is, though, too. You got to understand that, you, too. Right. Yeah. And, and, that, and and the truth is, though, too, um, there is no liability to the AI. Mm -hmm. Right? Because the AI is not a person. Right. So, like, you know, you as a financial advisor, uh, you had to get um, licensed. Right? You had to go through a certain set of trainings. Um, you are a fiduciary, so in certain circumstances, you are held, uh, you know, responsible for for the advice that you give. But look, I was setting that up for you. I wanted you to say this, but um, no, it's fine. But nah, you, you know, ahead. you know, um, you know, you know, you are a fiduciary, um, you know, and and you can't hold the AI uh, responsible, yep. right? And so a lot of us, uh, I mean, and, and but but they, but there are there are ways that AI can make your job easier. Yeah. But I don't believe that AI could take over the financial industry at all. Now, yeah. let's talk about the book pu publishing industry. Oh, man. Could, could AI take over the book publishing industry? Uh, I, th I think, I, so I'll, t I'll tell you a couple of things, right? I think that the, I think AI um, is going to make book publishing so easy. Mm. Right. In fact, uh, I've tried it before, and I, and I and actually, uh, what 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 I what I'm doing is, um, you know, trying to um, make it easier. Like I'm I'm proving it for myself first and foremost, right? So I'll give you an example. Like for me, uh, it used to take me the, the 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 least amount of time that I wrote a book. It took me about two weeks to do. Right. Yo, I wrote a book in five hours using AI. Mm. Five hours. I was able to write it and publish it in five days, meaning from the from the time like not like nine nine p.m. I started writing this book, finished the book like writing it and everything in about like three in the morning. From that, I took the book and then I started the process. I sent it out to a designer to design the inside. I I, I created a book, uh, you know, book cover for it. I, like I had my designer create a book cover for it. I uploaded it to to the to the places that I normally upload my books, and it was literally on Amazon for sale within five business days, mm. right? And what 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 this does is it actually removes every single excuse that somebody would ever have to why they they haven't written their book. Talk about the um, concern. And you've answered this before, but not to this audience mm -hmm. about plagiarism. Yeah, so 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 it's it's dope because um, AI actually cannot plagiarize, right? And so if you keep asking the artificial intelligence the same question over and over and over again, every time you ask it the question, it's going to give you a totally different answer, right? Mm. So that's number one. Number two, as it relates to um, you know what you copyright and plagiarism or whatever the case may be. There's actually tools that you can use where once you finish your whole body of work, you could put the body of work into an AI tool, and the AI tool will tell you it will search all of the content and to tell you what percentage of of the information that you have is is plagiarized. Lastly, wow. you know when you talk about like copywriting and protecting your work. Uh, you're, you know, what, what, what you got to understand is that it's, it's still, even though you're using AI, it's still your original work, right? And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is AI is not going to, like, like, like AI is not going to work if you don't know what you're talking about, right? So I'll give you a prime example. This book I wrote in five hours, I asked the AI for something. I said, I said, give me a list of all the self-publishers out there, right? 
and or, or the platforms I could use for self-publishing. Well, it gave me all the platforms, and on the bottom it said Create Space. Well, if you are if you don't know what you're talking about, then you would have published that on there. But what you would have realized is Create Space no no longer exists. Create Space was a company that was its own company before, but Amazon bought Create Space. So Amazon doesn't exist. I mean, C Create Space doesn't exist anymore. It it was it was it was blended into Amazon, which is now Kindle Direct Publishing. Well, if I didn't know that, I was going to just put that, that information out, and I'm putting out stale information. In fact, all of the information that I wrote in the book, what I did was I, I used my brain and what I knew to put out the information and put it into AI, and I asked AI to expand on it or make it better, and all it's doing is taking my thoughts and expanding on my thoughts based on what is out there, which is saving me hours and hours and hours of research that I would normally do. And so that's why I think AI is a game changer. Um, you know, I teach people, I do I do a webinar every Sunday, um, and, I, and I teach people how uh, to write and publish their book in seven days, right? And then once they write and publish their book in seven days, how to be able to use AI, right? Use AI to write and publish the book. Now you could use AI to create an uh, email sequence. You could use AI uh, to, to, to create... Um, you know, tell you how to market your book, and then now you start to implement that process, and now you could get up and running, making six figures to a million dollars off of your book very, very easily. But you have to know, you know, you know what what to do. So for me, it's a game changer. Sheesh, yeah, bro. About in real estate, bro. Uh, um, the biggest problem that we're gonna run against, why I'm so much on the side of AI being bigger than what we think it's going to be mm -hmm. is because it's all generational. Mm. We have a generation that's growing up. They're inside. They don't play games outside. Facts. They talk to people and play games over headsets with people they don't see. Those could be AIs who they're playing with. Ooh. They're playing games that are computer-generated AIs that are monitoring how aggressive you are, how late you are, how you, that's all a system of patterns. And now this generation is growing up ordering pizzas with Domino's pulling up in a car with nobody driving. This generation is going to be used to not working with other human beings, not playing with other, other, other kids and neighbors. You know what I mean? So now they want to be able to do things where they don't have to interact with people. They want to be able to say, I want to buy a house, which goes on right now. People buy houses and apartments through walkthrough videos, never go see them, never go see the agent, and they're buying them now. Yeah. So now you raise that generation up, and now they're 30s, 40s, and 50. All they ever known was ordering something to be delivered. Nobody's there. They automated calls. On the phone call, this generated thing is saying, this is an artificial AI service collecting. So now they feel more comfortable because they don't have to worry about the reaction of a human being having an emotional way about their lack of communication or being able to speak a certain way, or they, or they have an accent and they feel a little scared about the accent. They know that's a computer. Now let's go with this into buying property. There are softwares out there now with AI. When you now, let's say uh, you want to go buy a property. So now you're looking online, AI, AI, you're going through all of this. Now you want to put a purchase agreement in. AI is now able to calculate what's the best price to sell your property if you're the seller. So now you don't even have to deal with an agent. That the AI can now formulate this purchase agreement, and you being a buyer, mm -hmm. now you can sign this. What's the next step? Now you need to get funding. You put your information in. That's happening right now. You put your information into the system. It tells you how much you can be approved for. That's not a person. You're being approved for a certain amount to borrow from. Now you're ready to buy the property. So now you sign the agreement. You get funding. The funding goes over. We didn't deal with a person yet. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Now you have to get the property appraised. There are two companies right now that are doing AI appraisals. How? You, normally, you need somebody to go through, somebody to walk through the house. That's cameras inside the house. That's the appraisal after the property's been built already. All they need to do is scan and survey. It's the same. If nobody moved in there or the area hasn't changed, how much did the appraisal change? You don't need a person to go out there and do that. So now the appraisal's done on the property. So now the value comes in. Now the next step with that. So now the closing of the property. You don't have to be there. These are all sign-away closings. Everything is all dizzily done. The housing market will 100% change. To get funded, to get everything with that, AI is going to take over that market in such a big way. Where's the realtor? 
Mm. Where's the banks? Where, where's the lender involvement? You don't need these things in real estate. Mm. Think about it. Paying rent, property management companies, it's all based on the generation. Here's another thing. Do you think when we were young, Facebook, Instagram, any of that, when it came out when we were young, it would have been successful? Mm. No, we were too busy going, I don't want everybody to know where I'm at. Facts. I don't want to say when I'm going on a trip. Yeah. Because that next generation coming up, a cool was saying, yo, I'm at the airport. I'm on my way gone. Mm. I, we would have never done that. It's all generational. So, yes, I feel even even uh, Marvin Space with financial uh, in the financial. You're going to have these kids growing up making money from home, not even being in offices anymore. Yeah. They're going to have a job for 15 years, never sat in a cubicle, making three, four, five hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand dollars from the convenience of their home. Now you want to tell me I need a financial manager and now I got to sit down and talk to somebody face to face. Mm. Everything will have to be rethought about. But that's not for us. Wow. It's for that generation. Wow. And so and so and so do we believe that A.I., is is gonna take o take over jobs like what's like oh. wh what's gonna be sustainable about AI and what is like what's a passing trend? Can I, mean, I jump? We, yeah, can okay. I jump on that real quick? Cause we talked on that. Yeah. The climate is gonna change so dramatically because think about this. There's a McDonald's open right now that's AI. Mm. It's robot. You drive. You pay. You get the food and you go. There's supermarkets now where you go in. It reads your card. You pick up items and you go. I want everybody to think about where are all the toll persons who used to collect oh, the tolls? Fact. No tolls. Mm. Take a minute to that's go, true. wow, by camera. where are they at right now? That was before AI. Where, see, they didn't get a promotion. Right. They lost the job. Right. Right? So now think about all the cashiers and all the supermarkets. Where are they going to go? Think about the Kmarts, the Walmarts. Any 99 cent store, any low end brand store that's going to be able to save millions of dollars minusing a salary by putting an AI. Yeah. Think about all those things. Now, where do those people go? Mm. I mentioned to you earlier, I have someone in one of the states where they were telling me people are losing jobs so bad, they're going back to the, to the, to the street. To the street thing, mm. where where you know guys are doing the illegal things, either selling on the internet services. and women women selling services, because there's no what else is there when the remedial jobs of a cashier is gone? Wow, mm. can AI take over services? We already addressing that McDonald's. No, no, no. I was saying you say oh, selling oh, services. Oh, 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 that. <laughs> Whose men's is this? You, but in the future, you, though, think about the a... goggles. Think about the goggles. Yeah. Think about the movie. That movie so with basically he's saying yes. Yeah. So 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 the baddies are gonna be out of a job too. It's gonna be, bro. Like, you're gonna put on your goggle. Dang. The next person put on their goggle. You're gonna put on. You know they have the glove with the sensitivity in the tips. You do know that. Nah, I don't know. Come that. on, y'all. Yeah, they have the gloves now. Do, with it. do tell, Storm. Do tell. They have the gloves with the sensitivity where you can feel like you're actually touching somebody and all that. Yes, okay. it exists. Okay. So this generation How who's playing the games. How much? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> this generation who's playing what, 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 all these games. They're changing, bro. <laughs> Their mind is changing from physical contact, and they wow. will be okay with. Put on your goggles. I put on mine. Remember the movie with Stallone and Sandra Bullock with, with Wesley Snipes? Oh, and, uh, and she wanted to, to get well, with uh, him. Demolition Man. Demolition Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went over there, wanted to have sex with right, her. Right, and right. she said, put on these goggles. <laughs> right, right. Why do we think this is like, it's just right. not for us? Wow. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Wow. Yeah, Sound I know crazy. In our, in our industry, we we already have some, um, some pretty cool AI tools that came out. Like... Um, for probably like three years, I've been using this tool where like, if you give me your tax return, uh -huh. just your tax returns, I can upload your tax returns and it takes 30 seconds <laughs> wow. for it to give me an entire wow. report about every single line item on your tax return, read from the scan copy of your tax return. Wow. It's going to tell you how much it's going to take for you to be in a higher tax bracket. Mm. It's going to tell you how much of your portfolio you could convert over to a Roth IRA. Mm. It tells you how how close you are to Medicare taxes, what you can save. It will give you an entire tax report. Wow. So as an, thankfully, for as much as I know, this is only available to advisors now because if it wasn't, then that can be a problem, right? Because yeah. now I look like an a, a, a extremely smart advisor right. if I go through. Like it gets to the point where like 
I can't just scan it and upload it and give them the information because they'll think, oh, you got that too easy. You don't really know. Right. Like, you got to... Take a little time. You scan it and wait. Scan and wait. Scan Come back next week. And be like, all right, we're going to look at this in a, in a couple days. Right. Or else people will get concerned. Right. Like, how you know you ain't even look. <laughs> right. You know right. what I'm saying? Because right. they don't understand AI just yet. Right. But I'm telling you, man, it's if they're doing that for an entire tax return... Wow. They're going to be able to do that with a portfolio statement. Wow. So they're going to be able to upload their statement. And it's going to be able to analyze every single piece of their statement in 30 seconds. Wow. So if we don't. So what that means is we got to build up our value Facts. in other Here areas. Go. Facts. There we go. That don't Adopt mean, so, the dollar. So you can't fight against that. Say, oh, but I'm but I'm per- I can help you diversify your portfolio. No, you can't. You think mm-hmm. you can help me diversify my portfolio better, mach- better than a machine? Right. Mm-hmm. Like, right. what can you do? That's why I got to do the face to face client mm-hmm. events. I got to build community because yeah. AI not going to be good at that. Yeah. I got to make a person feel special by re- remembering their date of birth and calling them and saying, hey, this is a personal um, thank you. Yeah. Because even if because the AI gonna be calling people saying happy birthday. <laughs> right. So now I gotta right. say, Facts. you know, I gotta make it a personal message. Hey, right. um, uh, hopefully you, your dog Jake is okay. Right. I'm calling you to wish you. You know, you gotta or, make or things, or, you or you could get a you could get an AI yeah. clone of your voice, and then program it so that when the AI calls, you don't have to call. You'll be in a in a beat somewhere, and uh, the AI is calling as if it's you. Yeah. Oh, that's already done. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's already done. Using Jeez. the voice to do things. That's already done, man. I got, I got automations now that'll go out and it, it can say the person's name in, in my voice and will, and will speak to them. Wow. Like, it would say, like, like it would say, um, um, Jackie, I wanted to personally introduce you. I mean, I wanted to personally invite you to this seminar. Like, it's just like a call blast, right. but it's a smart call blast. Well, I need that. Yeah, yeah that's bro. crazy. Yeah. And, and and that's what I'm saying about AI. Like, there's a lot of, you know, I, I guess conspiracy theorists or people who are afraid of it, who are like, it's going to take over the world and it's going to be like iRobot and destroy or whatever. And who knows, right? That may happen. But who, like, like while you have the tool, use the tool. Look, what are, what use are, it. What are professors going to do now when it comes to having to write essays? They gonna have to go back to making them handwrite the essays, but, literally. But even like, if you what, do that, like, like you get the unless, AI to just copy exactly. It, right? unless, so, unless you, unless the professors are telling people to handwrite the essay in front of them, then they have no the shot. So what like, can you do? The world has changed. You can't do nothing. It's not. You just got to accept the fact Adapt that. Or die. So do you stop giving essays, or do you start teaching how to give the essays with AI? Right. Like, I think, what do I you think, do? I think. I think. I think. I think professors need to now, um, really teach how to properly use the AI, right? Right. How to ask the right questions, mm. because that's what's important, right? What people don't realize is if you take somebody who has no knowledge whatsoever, you're not going to be successful with AI, because you're going to have to ask the AI something based on the knowledge that you know, mm. right? And so even for a professor, you don't know what to ask, Right. And so now what the professor needs to do is cater their learning or their teaching to, to, to teach the person enough information that so that idea. when they put the information into AI, AI is giving them the, 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 the right product or service. Bro, I mean, I mean, an AI detector, is that out there? What did the detect? Yeah, they do have that. They have AI detectors. Yeah, so, so, they, so they, were, they were doing, I think Google was doing it, right? So Google... Um, was, was has the, has a way to detect um, if something was written by AI, so that way it'll rank it highly, right? Mm. But there's an AI rewriter, <laughs> yeah, right. Mm. And so and so now you got the AI detector. You could take the inf- you you could take the information that the AI wrote, put it into what's called the AI rewriter, and it will rewrite it to make it sound wow. human. And it's all the same company wow. who created the hey, first one I in the beginning. Professor, I need a AI that's going to now grade my essays for me. Facts. Like, join the bus. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, that's and, and, and that's what I'm trying to say. Like, like, like AI is a gift. I, 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 so this is what I believe. I believe that AI is going to decimate the middle class. Mm. So yep. that's your con? That, that, like, it... it no, it's not is even a, a con. Or kind of what is it? I think it, it it just is what it is. I think that it's going to decimate the middle class. There's you're either going to be a have or you're going to be a have, have not. not. That's it. Uh, I believe. If I you agree. don't adapt to AI and adapt to how easy it's making business life everything, mm. then you're going to if you're middle class right now, you're going to go and be a have not. You're gonna you're gonna fall into poverty because the middle class 
Uh, all the jobs, all the things that, that the middle class is relying on right now, AI is going to take those jobs, right? And then you're going to fall into, into, the, into the lower class, and you're, you're going to get stuck there. Or if you're in the middle class, or if you're in the low class, and you adopt AI, and you learn a skill, you learn something that solves a problem to human beings, what you do is now you, you, you figure out how can AI help you do this thing faster, and, and, and once you start implementing that, if you're low or, or middle class, you're going to ascend to this to this wealth spectrum. You're going to make a lot of money, and you're going to be good. His, his, yeah, yeah, no, I was going to say, it's easier to make money right now in this time than yes. ever before. Facts. Like, because we're in a space where even though we talking about AI so openly and we think the whole world knows about AI, they're talking about it in the news, they're talking about it in the media, but most people are not going to be using I AI. Yeah. So... If I'm somebody who's attempting to have a business, like you can hire, you can you can make money off of using AI. People will pay you for you to go and use AI, and and you and they'll pay you a spread for it. Because mm -hmm. and this is this is where the ignorance tax comes in. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, you're going to pay for it and give somebody an easy job. If that person that tried to charge you thirty five thousand was smart. They would charge you much less and have and get some kind of AI yep. of tool to, to actually do your reels and do everything for you because that's out there. Mm -hmm. Yo, let me tell you, right? I pay a company right now, I want to say 35, 25 or 3500 I don't even know how much. Yeah. Between 25 and 3500 a month to write my emails, right? They write my emails, they send them out, um, and they come up with it or whatever the case may be. They doing AI now. Right, they probably doing AI now. So that same twenty five to thirty five hundred dollars that I'm paying every single month, I can literally, literally, hire somebody for like five hundred dollars a month, and give them an AI tool, mm -hmm. and now I just save myself three thousand dollars. Yeah. All I gotta do is tell them what to do. Like because because you gotta think about it. What I did was because I want this, I want all the emails to be done in my voice. So I gave them a year's worth of my information. Right. I said here's a year's worth. Of my of me, here's how I talk. Here's my information. You gave it to the person or to the AI? No, tool? the person. Okay. I gave the person a year's worth, and now for the year, every single day they're giving you content that sounds like me, mm. right? They give you content Bro. that sounds like me, and then and then I'm paying them for that. Bro, they're gonna be making Ash Cash robots. Yo, they should. So they're gonna take AI. And take a year's worth of your content, which is their brain and the memory. Yep. They're gonna place it inside a robot, and that robot will be Ash Cash. Yo, I mean, I'm Look, cool hey, with that. that was scary thought though. That's no, it's not scary because he, he, here's the deal, right? And this, I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, when we talk about wealth, in my estimation of it, um, we work so hard so that we could change our relationship with money, so that we could stop working hard for money, yeah. and money works hard for us. And so, if they're gonna make Ash Cash Robots, I just want to own it. <laughs> you can't make Ash Cash Robots and I don't own it. I want to be able to own it. Because imagine if there's Ash Cash Robots and they took a year of my of what I what I know and they put it into this this AI robot, but I own the intellectual property of that AI and the robot or whatever. Can you yo, 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 the real human Ash Cash is an eight-figure entrepreneur. If I had 10. If I had 10, uh, 10 Ash Cashes? All right, let's, let's bring them back, y'all. Let's reel them back in. Hey, that's Look, real. Nah, nah, no, no, no. That's not good off of that. There's a if movie. we had 10 Ash Cashes? All right. This first thing, first they got to get same. rid of the original because they know what you up to now. Nah, right? got, no, don't get rid of the original. Because <laughs> hey, the, ori hey, the, ori the original no, the original will get out the way. I will be on a beach. And chilling. Chilling with my feet in the sand. And your Ash Cash robots. And my Ash Cash robots. We'll be we'll be we'll be we'll be helping people, we'll be impacting lives, we'll be helping other people get, you know, live their best lives. What you're talking about, there's a movie called Surrogates, mm. Bruce Willis, mm. where nobody left the house. Everybody stayed home, their AI robot went out, it went to work, or it went so it to the gym, exists, or it designs, or it did like they never left the house anymore. They just laid in the bed or they stayed home, they didn't come outside. This this spawns from the generation of not going to work. Yeah. So we 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 really are talking about if but, we. But I still want to go out though. I still want right. Sun. But that's you. 
This is I still want to give you thirty. <laughs> this is you. you know what I'm saying, like, I still want, I, like, I, like, I got to get out the house to do that. The gener- say? Let's <laughs> let's look at what they do now. If we're looking at a generation that is so hell bent on not going, they they grew up in a COVID generation, right? Right. They they did a study on these kids who spent two years out of school, don't want to go back to school. They they call it uh you know they have certain triggers now. Don't want to be around crowds. What's gonna well, how happen many to you? Uni- those people though. Is it a lot? Like I, I still, that was I still the see whole young United. Play ball. I still, I still see yeah. them do sports. I still see them in the club dancing. Like yeah. they still. When I, when I, these not kids in the club. When I say kids <laughs> who this is geared to, yeah, we're talking about five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe up to ten years old. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Those kids are the ones who are not going to be going to the universities. They're going to be working from. It's going to be a drastic change. Gotcha. Like the key thing to become successful. And investing and thinking about the future is don't count yourself in the equation. Mm. We already know what songs we like. We already know what playlists we like. We already know. They don't think about us when they're coming out with music and stuff yeah. because we know what we're going to wear. We know what we like to listen to. Yeah. It's that generation who hasn't made up their mind what they like mm. where they're the target audience. We, those are the ones. So now that you got them doing all these things, their mind is going to automatically adapt to not doing all the stuff that we're used to doing. We talk about we talk about now how you could go used to go to any park and play ball. Yeah. That's not happening. Yeah. Now they have trips where you can put on the goggles to take trips around the world. You don't physically have to go anymore. Wow. That's for them. Agents. So it's like I just want to reiterate this. Stop putting yourself in the equation when wow. it comes to the future because you won't be here. Mm. Really, when we talk about future, let's say 50 years from now, yeah, 60 years from now, 100 yeah. years from now, that's the vision when things start to actually change over. Wow. You will not be here, so stop thinking that our point of view matters mm. when the only thing that matters is how can we help our future generation mm. be able to build wealth in that forward thinking. Yeah. Why do I say that? That's where now you say Google owns most of the robotics companies that we see out. Mm-hmm. Amazon, they own most of them companies now with data. They're the biggest data company. Mm. They have a EF, they, they have a, a fund stock, an AI stock that just went up by $10 like the other day on the stock market now. We need to be looking into that AI stock. We need to look, be looking into those things because even the investment now will garner us a little, but it will garner our futures a lot, lot more. Mm. Like it's that I really learned to take myself out of the equation with futuristic talk. Because I realize, dude, the future is not really going to adapt in the time we're thinking about. Right. We're talking about what's going to happen to Bob, what's going to happen to real estate, what's going to happen to writing books. Right. That transition isn't designed for right now. We have yeah. the conversation, but this conversation will be archived and somebody will look back at it. But what will they do? Mm. Yeah. What will they do? Yeah. And so, and so, how, so how could somebody use AI right now to make, manage, and multiply money? My, right now. Right now? Right now. Literally, do what Marvin suggests. Mm-hmm. My thing is, you find somebody out there who's lazy, mm-hmm. they don't want to do the work, they're paying 3500 to get their emails done, mm-hmm. and go, yo, I could do emails for you for $500. Whoa. Word? Mm. And before, Whoa. and before, here's, 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 here's the kicker. Undercut. Here's the kicker. Before I even say I can do it, I'm going to send you a thousand emails already sounding like you're already and go, Yo, read these and tell me what you think. Mm. This is you. Then you're going to go, shit, you already you hired. got it. You hired. And, uh, and so, 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 so peep this, y'all. Because people don't care how you did exactly. it. They just want it done. They want it done. If so, oh, so I like this. So like, if, if somebody right now, so you would target, right, just, target just for clarity, you would company. target all companies, entrepreneurs, people who are actually having their emails written. Urchant, yep. And then you would you you know the prices, you know people are paying between twenty five and three thirty five hundred. And so now you say, here, I'll do it for five hundred. They're obviously gonna say this is a great, great deal. So yes, you could do it for five hundred. They're saving three thousand. You're making five hundred, but you're doing that in in a day maybe. You already got and then it. now you got, you know, if you could get 10, 10 people to do it, twenty people, a hundred people. You got a thousand it's 365 days in a wow. year. Wow. All you need is 365 emails. Wow. You say, I have your whole year right here. You send them something to read, 
Why am I not going to give you, why I'm not going to go with it? It's yeah. like that content is fresh. Now you do that five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You just literally mm. go through, go Google um, companies, all, all the companies that are sending you spam email. Right. Or just say, look, here, I'm going to send this. I'm going to do that. You, you can even go, bro, there's a whole nother play to that where you could just literally build out AI systems for them, mm. answering services. You can build out so many different components to it where they literally don't have to run a business no more. Mm. And you could tell them, I'm going to show you how to make more money doing less work. Mm. Here's the thing. Wow. And show them that works. Wow. AI paid for it. Wow. And people, you know, there's a lot of, I've already seen it coming out where all of a sudden these AI coaches mm. are coming to the wow. table. Like, I coach people on AI. Mm. Right? And people who was like, man, AI, to people who ain't never did it, right. it seems like, this whole thing. So people would pay a couple thousand dollars to learn all about AI, mm. right? So imagine if you did a, a workshop, you you took a week to, mm. like, dive head first, saturate yourself, yep, immersed in everything AI, right? Then you say, I'm, I'm teaching you how to make, make six figures or more using AI services. Then you do a workshop. People pay you $2,000. let us say you get 50 people in there. You just made a hundred grand. Mm on a workshop teaching people how to use AI. Mm. And everybody who attend, they're going to get value from it. Right. right. Because the only thing you need is one good idea to learn from AI. Right. So it's just so many ways to make money. This is what I'm thinking. The way my mind thinks, I'm like, man, people can make money right here. Yep. They can make money right here. They can make money right here. And people are like, why would somebody pay $2,000 to learn about AI when it's simply just telling them what to do? Mm -hmm. People will do it. Right. Sure, I might. I would probably even do it because I don't know nearly as much about AI as I should know. Yeah. It might be easy, but I never took the time to just be like, let me find out everything about AI. Here's, yeah. here's, here's yeah. something that I want us to think about also. You're teaching something that's designed to learn. Mm. Mm. We will eventually be X'd out. Mm. Just yesterday, there was a post with uh, AI's writing code, and they had a robot building a robot. We are teaching it how to do something, but once we taught it, it would learn how to do it better. Just like how we're teaching it the right emails, it's going to start doing its own. Mm. It's going to start learning to go, okay, I'm going to go to, I'm going to attract this business. Here's, it's going to use another voice. Mm -hmm. I want to, I want to sell to do your emails. Here's, here's the emails for the year. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Because it's thinking. Yeah. Right. So eventually we will be X out of the equation once you're teaching something that that's learning better than you are. Yeah, because you could tell. There's thing, no way around it. You could tell it to be humorous, mm. be persuasive, be yes. witty, be demanding, be yeah. controlling. And it, I, yeah, it's funny because it asks you those questions when it says what kind of reply or comment right, you want. Right. You want me to be funny? You want me to be passive? So we Ooh. can't think that we will always be in the equation when it's learning better and faster than us. Right. It's like, okay, how do I stay one step ahead of it? Mm. How do I invest in the thing that will eventually be the thing. Mm -hmm. It all comes down to investing for me. Like, yeah. it literally does. Take yourself out of trying to do the work and be the one at the top who says, I invested in that thing that's driving around making money. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I love it because I feel like, for me, you know, uh, AI already, uh, so if I, if, I, if I could teach anybody how to make money, uh, what I would say... Um, and so, so you know, with books, right? Like I always say uh, that the best way to make money, write a book uh, that's connected to, uh, you know, a product or service that you have a high ticket program for, right? So literally, you know, I have this, um, this, this, this process that I call STAR, right? Start with the end in mind, right? Um, or, or share. Start with the end in mind. Highlight the steps that it take you to get there. Uh, abandon the computers and you dictate your book. Uh, you know, review your you review your, your your masterpiece and then en enlist the team, right? Well, now enlisting a team is no longer enlisting a team, mm -hmm. right? Now I'm gonna change that e to enlist a AI, you know, a, a, a AI program. So now, so so here's the five steps. If you want to write a book in in seven days or less, first you start with the end in mind. You ask yourself. What, what is it am I teaching and what do I want people to learn? At the end of this book that I write, what is the end outcome? So I'm going to start with the end in mind. Matter of fact, H is highlight the steps to get there. I don't even have to come up with the steps. I could go to AI and I could, I could say, hey, AI, 
here is this end result that I want people to get to. Mm -hmm. Please give me the steps that it's going to take for them to get there. there. So now AI is going to give me the outline. Now, before, A was uh, abandon computers and speak your book into existence, where I'm going to tell you to speak it. But now you don't even have to speak it. Now, whatever this A is, this A is uh, ask AI to expound on the steps. So now you're going to ask AI. And you're going to ask each step of the way, you're going to ask them to expound on it, expound on it, expound on it. And now it's going to give you this. Now, R is review. You're going you're gonna to take what the AI wrote and you're going to review it. You know the, the knowledge already. So you're going to review it for its accuracy, for its tone, to make sure that it's, it's, it's speaking in the way that you want it to speak. And then you either can rewrite it yourself or, there, I'm not going to give you no names yet, but there's another AI that you could use based on the first AI that gave you the information. You could use another AI to make it better. Right, and so now you review it, you put it in the other AI, and it makes it better. And then lastly, you enlist the team. That now you either get a video, uh, 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 a graphic designer, or you can create an AI book cover. But now you get them to to you know to uh, design your inner, your 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 inside of your book, and literally these five steps. You could write and publish a book in five or seven days. I mean, you could probably do it less than seven days. Like I said, I did it in five hours. Mm. But now those are the steps, y'all. Oh, I just gave y'all a whole... Like, if y'all... Look, yeah. if y'all do not implement what I just said, then you're going to be the have-not. Mm, that's... Look, I mean, what do I, what do I say? Yo. After that, I mean, that you gave them enough information to go out and implement right now. So that's... I'm good. Yeah. And, and, and you know, and you know, I, 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 think, I think from a perspective of, you know, because it becomes so easy, like, don't... Don't... Think, though, that it doesn't take knowledge, right? Like, don't think that it doesn't take you still learning, right, how to do a specialized skill or how to do something better because AI is only as good as the person who's inputting the thing. For now. Right? So you think it's going to get better? Because, like, like, yes. like, for instance, for me, everything that AI knows what to do, I told it to do it based on my brain. It didn't have the information before. But now it has it. But now it has it. So I don't have to ask you no more. Right. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> True. And so, and so, and so, and so what happens? Bye bye, Ash Cash. Yo. <laughs> and with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our prosperity gems. <laughs> it was at this point. <laughs> <laughs> If Woody would have went straight to the police, <laughs> none of this would have ever happened. It was at this point, Ash Cash realizes. <laughs> oh. All right, what's the, what's, the, what's the gem? Wait, but no, no, wait, wait, wait. Leave it there, man. Good, man. We got it. Right. Like, 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 that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I am a creative being, though. Who's and creating another one, right? No. Because... The idea that I gave the AI, it now has. So, so you, so you think the AI could be more creative than me? Yes. 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 Word. With yes. That, with Thank that you. being said, like, it's time for the gym of the day. <laughs> yeah. Right. Go, go, go with the gym of the day. Hey, look, stop. it's feeling hurt. Nah. <laughs> no, because I don't believe you. Like, I, like, I, like, just because you, just because both of y'all say yes, don't mean not, that I believe not, it. No, like, no, you ain't gotta believe it. Look, but look, I'm, you said that you asked them to do things for you, right? right? So you're you're actually telling it, I want you to be creative. No, right? no, I'm not. So here, so here, because well, you're asking a question. I think you're leading, but you're not being here, the creative the force here's behind it. I'm not telling. I'm not telling the AI the why. Okay, so tell right? it the why. So think about this. Think about this. Let me let me let me give you a good, good example, right? Why, like, why does the the CEO's the CEO? Because it knows um, why something needs to be done. Mm -hmm. The worker's the worker because they know how to do it. So those who know why Ooh. will always be the boss of those who know how. Right? Nah. So, 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 so as a CEO, I know why something needs to be done. And I dictate to the people to do the thing. 
So if I'm if I'm telling AI, hey, this is what I need you to do, I'm not saying to AI, hey, I need you to do this because I did the research and I know that this amount of people need this and they want that. But I'm not giving them that so, information. So we or, can't replace or, you as a visionary right, and as a leader. Right. But we can't replace your creativity. That's what I'm saying. So as a visionary of a leader, of course, you have to tell them, go this direction, right. which is important. You can't, you can't, you can't take that away, unless you give an AI five years of that's where I was going leadership. The movie now, War Games. What happened in them? Now Man, they I'm know how you lead back, better bro. than you know how you lead. It kept doing a certain sequence until it found the right ending, war games. And like kept doing a certain pattern by the information that was being fed. But once it found out the conclusion that it needed to get or you wanted it to have, now it remembers the steps. No matter how long as it knows the conclusion that you're trying to get, it will find a different way to get there. That's, bro, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. It's in in. Inevitable. And it's okay. Yo, who's with me in the chat, y'all? What do y'all think? Do y'all think that an AI could be more creative than the actual human being? Or do you believe these two guys where AI is going to be able to take over? Right in the chat. The human, I, the human touch might be lost, but you have AI that's doing artwork now that they can't even verify. So what they're doing now is creating blockchains on artwork mm. to verify that AI didn't do it now. Wow. That's how powerful it is. You wow. can literally imitate art with AI, and they can't tell the difference. Wow. Yeah. All right, gem of the day, y'all. I ain't going to beat a dead horse, <laughs> but uh, what's the gem of the day? That horse is glue now. Hey. Now. Um, so my gem of the day will be that you, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there, mm. right? You got to know where this AI is going, and if you don't move on with this, with, with, with what's happening right now, you will be left behind. Somebody mm. going to leave you behind because of your own doing. We know that this is here. We're seeing all, anytime you start seeing all of these gurus coming out saying they're the experts in this that they learned it two days ago, you know <laughs> that this is the time that you need to learn. Yeah. I'm serious, because I promise you, Crypt, imagine how many people came out as crypto experts when they started coming out. <laughs> how many of those no. do you see right now? Yeah. You don't see them. But what I will tell you, though, this isn't going away. AI is not going away. It's only going to become stronger. It's only going to become more powerful. And if you don't take the time to ride that train, I'm sorry, you're gone. You're done. Yeah. You've just lost about 75% of the money you could make. Yeah. Um, my gem of the day is... Uh, think about anything that you've ever wanted to do and do it now. Any reason that you've ever procrastinated, any reason that you didn't do something because you didn't have the time or you didn't have the knowledge or mm. whatever, you fill in the blank. Anything that you ever wanted to do, now is the time to do it. AI is your friend right now. <laughs> At some point, maybe. Who knows, right? It might become more creative than you. Mm. But the truth of the matter is that right now is all you have. Yesterday doesn't matter. Tomorrow doesn't doesn't matter. Right now is all that matters. And right now you have this powerful tool that you can use to actually implement and create any idea that you've ever had. So start now. Use AI because it is the answer. Wow. Mm, that's um, good. AI right now is the new revolution of the industrial area er, era with the growth of money that can happen. You can take a little bit of money right now and place it into the right company with AI and you can become a millionaire. You can literally be that person. AI, it's everywhere and it's taking over. So I'm always going to tell you to lead by investing. Look into that thing. Like I mentioned, Google, look into Amazon. Look into Microsoft. Look into all of those things that involve and start investing in those things now and prepare because if you see that, like we mentioned earlier, all the toll workers are gone and that happened silently and quietly. Where did they go? They didn't get an upgrade. Start to invest in that. Real estate is a strong market and I also want to have you look out in that real estate space where they're doing 3D printing homes. They're building homes with robots that exist. So you always have to be prepared and be ready. 
It's not to scare you. It's to prepare you. Mm. If you don't come up with some other ways to invest and make money, then think about it. One, you're either always going to be working to make money, physical labor, and when you can no longer work, you won't make money. Use your brain now. You can get in on the low, low and make the most, most right now. Mm. Bars. Get in on the low, low and make the most, most. Yo, <laughs> it's to get into the low, low. And get the most most. We ain't trying to scare you. Just trying to prepare you. <laughs> AI is the answer. You got to use it faster. Me, Marvin, and Storm, Ash Cash, be the blasters. We trying to teach you to make money and multiply and manage it better so that you could be fly on an island while AI working for you. And... I'm going to stop here because I don't want to bore you. Because he really adored you. There we Ooh, go. There we go. Boy. Let him know, man. Right. Subscribe where they can see Yo, us at. What time? Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go to pathtoprosperityshow.com. Make sure you find us on all of your podcast providers, Apple, Spotify, Google Play, all of that. Make sure you, you like it, you review it, you subscribe to it. Make sure you spread the word. Tell a friend to tell a friend that the trifecta is here, helping you make, manage, and multiply your money. We will see you, right, every Wednesday. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time, always seek knowledge. knowledge. Peace, y'all. Peace.